In this biodemographic short, I consider life history trade-offs. One of the most influential papers on life history theory was the one by Cornell University biologist Lamont Cole, titled The Population Consequences of Life History Phenomenon, published in 1954. This paper was impactful in two respects. First, because it reaffirmed the use of R as a measure of fitness, and second, because it introduced the concept of life history trade-offs. For example, Cole revealed the relative unimportance of late life reproduction. He stated, it is strikingly brought to one's attention that the final terms representing reproduction in later life are relatively unimportant in influencing the value of R. One of the most transparent approaches for illustrating differences in the impact on R, that is fitness, of different life history uh, trade-offs is contained in the paper by Richard Lewinton in 1965. The simple analysis revealed that shifts in the age of first reproduction had the largest impact on R. Here's a schematic of reproductive function Vx introduced by Lewinton in 65. In panel A, we have generalized Vx, where A is the age of first offspring, T is the turnover point, W is the age of last offspring, and S is the total number of offspring, or the area under the curve. In panel B, we have shifts in the age of first reproduction A. In panel C, we have shifts in the age of T, the turning point. And in panel D, the shifts in the age of last reproduction W.